Traffic flow at Tidwell creates mixed emotions in students. The school is full of new teachers and staff. And Monday marks the 16th anniversary of September 11th. Your new episode of Tidy TV starts now. My name is Micaiah Jackson. And I'm Jacob Salazar. Today is Wednesday, September 13, 2017. This past Monday marked the 16th anniversary of the September 11th terrorist attacks. We will have a Titan TV exclusive report later in this broadcast. Our top story today is the new change that happened in the halls of Tidwell. Titans who returned to Tidwell have noticed that the school now has traffic flow lanes and stairwells, stairwell, stairwells designed up and down. Here with the controversial issue, Titan TV's cadence tape. This year's those students returning to Tidwell have noticed a change in without students moving to class. Not only do we have lanes down the hall getting from place to place, but this year we have designated stairwells for going up and down the school. A lot of Titans are unhappy about the change. Upstairs, it feels like I'm in Japan in the subway stations. Last year, when we didn't have the tape, like, it could be easier to walk around. Now, like, when you go into one specific place, and it's always clogged up in that one area. And it's like find another routine. Like, Despite the fact that the change seemed to be an inconvenience for some students, Titan TV was able to find just as many students who were happy with the changes as students who were not. I like it because they have two lanes, so one person, like one lane can go this way and other can go that way. Because like last year a lot of people were running into each other and like just bumping heads and like just getting in trouble. Um, I like it just because people last year were like colliding into each other because they go on the wrong side. No matter what your opinion is about the change, this year it seems it's here to stay. The best thing you can do is think about your route to the next class ahead of time, and make sure you're moving from class to class as quickly as possible. I'm Cadence Tate, now back to Titan TV. Thanks, Cadence. The halls at Tidwell aren't the only thing that's new. Tidwell has a number of new staff and teachers this year. Titan TV's Damar Austin interviewed a few of our new teachers to find out more about them. Hi Titans, the new teachers of Tidwell this year are excited to lead a class of students to have a better future. Ms. Westman and Ms. Pricer are just some examples of new teachers. They are looking forward to making new relationships with the kids. And here are some of their responses. Looking forward to teaching this year. Well, I'm looking forward to getting to know all of my students. And of course, I teach algebra, so math is my favorite subject. I'm looking forward to doing math every day in class. And my favorite thing is that aha moment when a student is struggling and they kind of don't understand something. And then once it gets explained to them or once they figure it out, it's like, yes, I get it. And that's my favorite. That's my favorite moments in math. All right, this year I'm looking forward to getting to know all my new students and getting to know Tidwell and all the really cool things y'all do here. I'm looking forward to going to some games and just um, getting to know everybody here at Tidwell. I'm Damar Olsen and now back to Time Team. One of the new teachers at Tidwell is already contributing to our school culture with the addition of a brand new club for students to be part of. Here with more is Tiny TV's Thomas Grimm. Hey guys, Thomas here reporting over the new history club run by Miss Ritchie here at Tidwell. This adds fun to history. Here's Miss Ritchie with more information. Well, the Junior Historians is a state-run club through the state of Texas in which kids get together and do community service projects. And we have a lot of fun. We do a field trip once a month. And we, some of our field trips were spending the night on the Battleship Texas, uh, camping, going to the World War II Museum over at Meacham Airport. Uh, we've also done service projects to where we've raised money for Pearl Harbor. 
we just have a lot of fun doing like historical things on the weekends and during the week during our club time. I don't know when it starts because they haven't told us when we start to have club meetings, but as soon as the club meetings start, I already got something planned for us to go work at Nash Farms and help them with their fall festival if we get it in time. Well, not really for 8th grade, but for 7th grade it does work really good. I have an opportunity for 8th and 7th graders to participate in what is called the Texas Quiz Show, which is a uh, Jeopardy type game that you get to play online, and if you do really well, you get to go to state competition, which is kind of like UIL so it does help academically. I'm Thomas Grimm and now back to Titan TV. Thanks Thomas. Uh, another way you could be involved here at Tidwell is to be a part of Destination Imagination. Tidwell's DI team has the most is the first school sponsored competition to, to compete at a national tournament. Teams are forming now and registration forms are due to Miss Nesbitt by September 29th. Be watching Titan TV for more information about DI in the, in the coming weeks. Last week, Titan TV aired information about the Replay It app. For those of you who did not catch it, catch it in the commercial, the password is 18 Titans, all lower lowercase with no space. Hey, do you have a lot of pictures on your smartphone? Sure you do. Do you want to share them with your friends and classmates? Sure you do. Do you want to get some of them into your school's yearbook? Sure you do. But how do you do all of that? With Replay It, the free mobile app that allows you to capture, share, and view everything that happens this school year as the year unfolds. Here's how Replay It works. 1. Download Replay It from your app store and register. Totally free. 2. Find your school. Totally easy. 3. Upload photos already on your device and take and share new photos of all your school's moments that matter. We moderate all photo content to make sure that what gets shared is safe and suitable for all ages. Four, tag your photos by event, by person, by activity, however you want them to be searchable. And five, view everything that's been shared on Replay It by you and everyone else as the year unfolds. But that's just for starters, through Replay It, you can also access past yearbook photos and videos, bring your yearbook pages to life through augmented reality, and even order your school yearbook. Get Replay It to share your best and see the rest. Keep in mind that if you haven't purchased a yearbook, this Friday is the deadline to purchase one and get your name on the cover for free. That's right. If you purchase your, your book before Friday, then you get your name on the cover for free. Books are $30 and payment plans are available. The price will only go up, so purchase one as soon as possible. Now, here's Titan TV's Garen Jameson with our sports report. The first football game was yesterday against Indian Springs. C team won the volleyball game. The next track meet is today. Make sure to support your fellow Titans. Now back to Titan TV. Welcome back Titans. It's officially the third week of school. And by now, most Titans should be back in the habit of school and classes. Summer vacation is just a memory and here to remind us is Titan TV's Javier Rivera. Now that school is starting again, summer is finally over. It was hot. Because of all this hype about the first day. I was very excited. We decided to ask a few students how they feel about school starting and what were some good memories that they had in the summer. Um, I'm a bit upset because I don't have um, much more freedom than I had in the summer, but I know I have to go back to school. I enjoyed sixth grade, but I think I'm going to enjoy athletics this year. 
Well, I have to be honest, I always get a little bit depressed when the school year is starting just because it means summer is over. I'm kind of tired because school started and I don't get to sleep anymore, so. Any summer memories? I took my son to SeaWorld and we got to eat with Shamu, which was pretty exciting, so that was pretty cool. I went to Disney World and Universal over the summer, and I went to Harry Potter World and Universal, so that was pretty fun. Well, now that summer is over, at least we can go back to school and make some new memories. I'm Javier Rivera, and now back to Titan TV. Thanks, Javier. This Friday night will be a busy night for Tidwell Fine Arts. The choir get acquainted party will take place here at Tid at school from 4:15 to 6:30 p.m. Make sure your parents are aware of the the event. The 8th grade band will be performing at NISD Stadium starting at 5 p.m. And orchestra students will have a regional boot camp this Saturday from 8.30 to 12.30 at Wilson Middle School. Finally, this past Monday was the 16th anniversary of the September 11th terrorist attacks on the United States. Here with the Titan TV special report is Piper O'Dwyer. What started as a normal Tuesday morning quickly turned tragic when four passenger planes were hijacked by terrorists, two of which were crashed into the north and south towers of the World Trade Center located in New York City. We asked a few teachers about their experience when they finally got the news on this tragic situation. I was in the classroom. It was my second year of teaching. It was either first or second period and uh, the principal knocked on the door and I could tell by the look on her face that uh, something was really wrong. And she asked me to step outside. I stepped outside and the first plane had hit. So um, she described that. And um, then I don't think she left the, the classroom before somebody came up and said the second plane had hit. So we. I didn't have time to really absorb what was going on with the first plane. I thought, you know, pilot error, but then of course when we heard the second plane, we knew that it was something much worse than that. Where was I? Well, I had just joined the police department and uh, I was at home, asleep. At that time I was working night shift, so that specific morning I got out of work at around 6 in the morning, got home around 6.30, took a shower, went to bed. Uh, and I woke up around 3 p.m., I looked at my cell phone, and there is tons of missed calls. And then I was going, hey, what's going on? I didn't figure it out. So uh, I returned a couple of the phone calls. One of them was from my mom and a couple of friends. They said, have you watched the news? And I told them, no, I haven't. What's going on? And they said, well, you need to watch the news. Something happened in New York. So I turned on the news, and the uh, first thing that I saw was an image of an airplane flying into the building, and I thought it was a movie. It looked like a movie. And I was shocked, and I was still kind of asleep when this had happened. And um, so they kept on replaying it, and I started realizing, hey, something pretty bad happened. So... That's where I was and that's what happened whenever. Within an hour and 42 minutes, all of America watched as both 110 story towers collapsed. 9-11 was the single deadliest incident for firefighters and law enforcement officers in the history of the United States, leaving around 3,000 dead and more than 6,000 others wounded. As seen on Monday, we use this day now as a day of remembrance and mourning for all those lost on that fateful September morning. Thanks, Piper. That's all we have for today, today, Titans. Tune in next week for all the latest news and all thanks to Have a great day, Titans. See you next week.